Hey, how's it going? So today I'm gonna be doing a really fun beach landscape with resin. It's gonna be a fun project. I've seen this done a lot of times and it was also inspired by Dina Tollefson's art challenge. She hosts these things that anybody can participate in on her YouTube channel and it just like builds a little bit of an artist community and I love that. So I decided to finally participate and this one's theme was underwater. So it had to have like a, some sort of water theme and I thought this fit in really well. So I got this really inexpensive Lazy Susan from a thrift store. It was $5 or something, and I've been holding on to it for a while just for this project. So the first step will be taping off the back edge just to avoid a little bit of the drippage, and then we'll take from there. By the way, this morning I saw like a white chipmunk. It was the cutest thing ever, and I want to capture it and make it my friend. So the first step is painting a background that's generally what your color palette's gonna be. A nice gradient from light blues to dark blues to mimic how oceans are. Also, it was really fun to mix together some pink glitter and sand because I wanted there to have an overall theme of kind of a pink sunset vibe. I wanted to do some pink waves. The shells that I chose were the pinkest ones I could find. So I thought um, adding a little bit into the sand kind of might look like wet sand reflecting a sunset. After pouring that down, I decorated the beach scene a little bit, adding a piece of coral and a few shells. I also wanted to give it a little bit more of a three-dimensional look, so I added a bit of soil that wasn't mixed into the resin on top, just so it wouldn't level out like the rest of the resin would and then i got to start mixing a bunch of colors So adding lines of different colors of resin and just having fun with it, I was learning the techniques on how to make waves and just adding some sea glass as I went along. The best technique for making waves I found was using a heat gun alongside a straw. The straw just allows you to have a lot of precision and with the heat gun heating it up, it made it really liquidy and really easy to move around. So that was my main technique for creating the waves but I knew I wanted to do a second layer on top of everything. So after this kind of playful layer of just practicing and decorating the scene a little bit more, I mixed together my serious resin pigments, a really shimmery blue and pink. and I accidentally spilled a bunch of gold onto this piece. So I made that work for me. I mean, I wasn't that mad. I was gonna add a little bit of gold, maybe not as, not quite as much, but it worked out fine. <laughs>
And this is the finished piece, so thank you so much for watching and consider subscribing. Bye!